so warm up's done. That doesn't count as a set, by the way. That just counts as a warm up. All right, that doesn't count as the first exercise. <coughs> 65, I haven't done this for a long, long time. <laughs> Controlled swinging basically meaning that you can progress in the weight, which basically means overall you're gonna progress. <clears throat> Fuck. Excuse me, how are we doing? What is happening people? Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video, the first video that I'm filming in the house. And I've got to fix my pool today. Look at it, beautiful. I've got the hose pipe in there. So basically, your boy thought he knew what he was doing. Turns out he didn't know what he was doing. I backwashed the pool and I backwashed it. So I backwashed the uh, filter, sorry. And I backwashed it for a little bit too long, which means the water levels have dropped, which means the air has got into the pump which means there's air popping out of those little white things in the pool anyway we've managed to fix it for now but we're gonna have to leave that going for probably about 40 minutes get those levels raised and we should be all good um, anyway today's video is gonna be me training in the gym like an absolute madman high off caffeine and we're training back and we're training biceps and it's gonna be a good one we're mic'd up we're gonna get you guys set up on the 85 mil lens it's gonna be a good day and I can not wait. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. First things first, my friends, we have got the cupboard of dreams. What shall I take today? Arthur, are you okay, little man? Ickle man knows we're going out, so he's getting a bit nervy. Um, anyway, we are gonna have, we're gonna need some pump today, so we're gonna have a sour watermelon pump, so I'm probably gonna mix it with Gamer, and I'm probably gonna mix it with legend, so we've got the same flavors, all right? So Sour Watermelon Legend Pre, Sour Watermelon Pump, Sour Water Gaming. I'm gonna go one scoop, one scoop, two scoop. Let's make it. So I mic myself up, people, so the audio should be bang on. Um, we're gonna go for the Raw Blue Shaker today. By the way, this fridge is probably the best purchase I've ever made my entire life with the water coming out ice cold anyway. Perfect though for pre-workouts, isn't it, Eleanor? Best purchase we've ever made. Who chose it? Don't know. Ellie chose it. Anyway, so one scoop gamer. We're gonna go one scoop. Legend, because there is still caffeine in Gamer, by the way, so I think there's a little bit less, but we want the beta alanine from the pre to start kicking in. And then always two scoops pump, because this stuff, insane. And now, because I live only an eight minute drive from the gym, rather than me having to worry about going across London and trains being delayed and all sorts, I can start sipping this on the way to the gym and it kicks in perfect timing. Anyway, I shall see you guys at the gym. It's back and biceps, let's go. Also guys, another good thing about living not in London and not having to carry bags, I can just chuck the big Alphaly duffel bag in the back of the car and just drive. And obviously I can get my tripod in there and all sorts. So it's actually a game changer moving out of London, not gonna lie. This was absolutely unintentional people, but um, the new, Joggers from our fleet, not the graphic ones, just the plain ones are uh, the same color as the tick. So these go pretty well. And then I've also found this little number. So obviously because I've moved house recently, I've got loads of bags of clothes to go through. I went through some last night. I found a brand new, here comes the sun, basic and sort of, what do you call it? Like the jumper, but the, the cuffs are the same as the cuffs on the joggers, which I am a big fan of. Now this is a little bit too small and it's probably not great for having that there, but I'm gonna be taking it off pretty sharpish anyway. So it's all good, but we're gonna head to the gym now. I've packed the bag. I've just gotta make a quick during drink, which is gonna have some creatine in it and just some BCAAs. And then we'll catch up with you guys at the gym. Lads, we've made it to the gym. Now obviously it's gonna be very loud in here because the music is blaring out. 
um, but I'm not putting ads on my YouTube videos at the moment, so you won't get, I won't get copyrighted anyway. But check out this vibe. So I've been to this gym before. I don't know if it's been on the channel that much before, but it's like, what, half, what's the time? It's half 12, just gone. Lunch time. Look how busy the gym is, ready? There's like three people over there. There's Ellie over there, one person over the back, and that is it. That is the vibe that I like. Don't get me wrong, I do like it when there's a lot of people in the gym um, getting after it, training, but the people that train here, it's the proper raw bodybuilding style vibe. Coming here with their hats on, hoods up, beanies on, whatever it is. Normally it's colder today, but to be fair, it's, it's actually quite warm. Um, but anyway, we're gonna train back and biceps. It's gonna be a raw video, so sit back, relax, and enjoy people. Let's get it. Oh, hopefully that's in focus, because you are miles away from the from where I am right now. You're literally over the other side of the gym because the 85 mil lens is fixed and it is miles away. My chest is super sore from yesterday, but like I say, we're training back. We're gonna do a little bit of a warm-up now. So I always tend to do sort of maybe some sort of pullovers like this, just to start with. Ugh. Already too light. I haven't trained that much in this gym to know, to know sort of like what I'm, I'm sort of lifting because most of these cables are so old that half the time the resistance is actually a hell of a lot more. Ugh. But it's time to grow, baby. It's time to fucking grow. Ugh. So let me do like four sets, 15, maybe four sets, 25, see how I feel. Just get that blood flowing. So I'm not gonna film every single um, set that I do. I'm just gonna do like four of these. But I'm gonna try and talk you through of my exercise choices, what I typically do when I come to the gym in regards to like weight, because I feel like a lot of people come to the gym and they have a good workout, but they're not following the program. So how do you expect to progress if you don't follow a program and you don't know what you've done the week before? Now, don't get me wrong, I am definitely a little bit guilty of this in regards to the fact that I'll come to the gym today. I've not got nothing written down, but I'll definitely know what I've done, if that makes sense. So for instance, I can tell you last week, I can tell you what I did last week, that, like last Tuesday on most of the machines, to be honest with you, like I know what I'm doing. Um, but like today, I'll do the workout today and I'll be able to tell you the exact workout that I did today, a week or two later, and roughly know the, the weights and stuff because I come to the same gym. You know, if you don't come to the same gym all the time, following the training regime and trying to stick to weights and certain sort of or trying to progress in certain things, you're not gonna be able to do it. So just bear that in mind, because if you're not following a program, you're really not gonna make much progress. It's time to down this pre-workout. <sighs> right, I'm gonna do two more sets on this, and I'll move on. So I've just looked at that last clip, and I thought it looked pretty good. So we're gonna do one more and I'm gonna show you, I've gone up a bit more weight now, so I'm on 40, I think that's 45 kilo, 45 and a half kilo. Um, with this, obviously you wanna try and keep your arms sort of just slightly bent. But I just feel like as long as you can feel it, you know that you're doing it right. Shoulders have gotta be down and back when you get to the end movement here. Otherwise if you're like that, you're not feeling it in your back. So shoulders down and back at the end movement. Ah. 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 That's enough of that. 
Right, so we're moving on to this machine, lads. I've actually not used this machine. Um, so I'm gonna see how we get on. I've just tried a little warm-up step, so I'm sure it'll be I'm sure I'll be alright with a 20 play on each side. Another thing about this gym, the vibe, fucking love this vibe. But like they just redone it by the way, that's what I was supposed to say in that first clip that I started filming. This has just been redone, so if you have seen this gym on the channel, it's actually a lot different to what you would have seen before. Brand new flooring, a few new machines, and apparently they're actually gonna repaint all the machines, so they're basically new. Um, right, let's do this. So warm-up's done. That doesn't count as a set, by the way. That just counts as a warm-up, all right? That doesn't count as the first exercise. I'm gonna do this double hand to start with, see how I feel, I might move single arm. It's quite nice. When you come forward on these machines, if your gym's got it, feel that stretch. So a lot of people will just stop here, and you can stop there, but you're still contracted. If you're, when you get more experience with training and lifting, if you lean up, if you lean up, Obviously, you can't go too far because the, the weight will stop. But if you go to there, that, I can feel that stretch now. And that's ultimately when you grow. When you come back, you squeeze those shoulder blades down and back. And it is, honestly, so much more beneficial for back gains. It's a joke. So that's too light. I could have kept going for another 10, 15 reps, but I want to go heavy. I want to go heavy today, lads. Took another 20 on, see how I feel. There's a guy in the gym who obviously works here and he's mopping. <laughs> and this made me think about that guy that just, you know that guy on YouTube that's gone viral for like, popping over with a mop and bucket and then like, starts lifting people's weights a lot easier than they can. I swear to God, if this guy does that to me, I'm gonna cry. All right, let's go. Eight reps. Why did the music have to stop then? I'm gonna bring his chair down a little bit. Just there. Ah, it's killed me. Second set. I'll do two more on that, then we'll move on. So I did 10 that, that round. I did eight on the first two, 10 on that one. But the reason I did 10 then is because eight felt good. And then I thought I'll just do a couple more. I say this to every single one of my clients and every single one I'm speaking to in the DMs if you're talking about fitness. Always take advantage of how you're feeling in that moment and especially in that day. Because if say today you're feeling really good, it might mean that your nutrition's been absolutely bang on point this last four or five days leading up to this session. Take advantage of how you're feeling. You know, if you're fueled your body correctly, you're gonna be able to press more weights, lift more weights, and ultimately recover better as well. So take advantage of it. And I know I've got another 10 reps in me there. So I'm not like flagging. I haven't done 
like my, um, I haven't gone to failure there at all. I know I've got 10 more reps in me. Also, another thing on rest, people always ask me how much rest should they be taking or how much rest do I take? It's really very subjective of, of the individual, really. I have always had a very good recovery um, rate. So when I used to play football, I used to be out of breath blowing. I used to be able to recover quite quickly and then just start sprinting again. Same with this. You know, the, the bigger the muscle, the tired it gets actually. But if you're recovering quicker, um, you don't need that much rest. But for me, I always take as much rest as I feel like I should take. So if I sit here for two minutes, then cool. If I sit here for three minutes, then that's also cool. As long as I take enough rest that I know I'm gonna get my next 10 reps out, I'm happy. Right lads, we are gonna be strapping up and I'm gonna to talk to you quickly about straps and why you should be using them. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I never used to use them as much as I do now. Now that could be because obviously I've got stronger um, and I need to go up weight, but maybe my grip strength hasn't got as strong. What I will say is your grip strength does get stronger if you don't use these. But when you get to a certain level of strength and the only way to really go up weights, like let's say you're stuck on the 45s, 50s, whatever you're doing, and you can't go up weight because your grip strength's letting you down, that's when you know it's time to get the straps. Using these, gripping the weight, takes away all that pressure off the forearm and it allows you to actually push through barriers. Otherwise, you're just leaving so much like energy in the tank for that lat muscle, but it can't be used because your grip's failing. I'm gonna do a couple of warm-up sets, just on my stay, and I'm gonna do three working sets on the big boy weights. We'll see what we can get up to. It's 30, fuck me. It's miles down the rack. We'll use 35, because that's here. Obviously, I don't need the strap for the 30s because I can grip them well enough. But I'm definitely going to need the straps when I start doing the 50s or whatever I try and get to today. So just do a couple of warm-ups each side to get that lat and the central nervous system know exactly what movement you're doing next. A lot of people do this movement so many different ways. You can do it how I did there. You can step in a bit and you can come back to the hip. But honestly, guys, if you can feel it in your lat, then you're doing it right. There's, I feel like when it comes to back training, everyone is different in regards to how they can feel that contraction in the muscle. I feel my contraction by doing this. Some people might not, but I do. Right, that'll do. I won't exhaust it too much. First heavy set. I'm gonna chuck the belt on. By the way, this is not an Alpha Lee belt, but Alpha Lee are bringing out belts this week. Well, this month. I should be getting mine this week. And I can't wait. Right, let's start with the 45s. Let's not fuck around today, Kieran, come on. 45, let's go. Eight to 10, nice and heavy. We're still early into the session, so we should have energy. Let's go. Eight's gonna do, because I'm gonna go heavy today, guys. Just realized. See, I know from doing that first set, but I've got fucking bags of energy today. We're gonna fucking utilize that. Right, so that normally would have counted as a working set. But to be honest, it still might, because I'm gonna go 55 on the next set. So 10 kg heavier than what I just did. Um, but we'll see how we feel because I might do eight on 10 on that one now, but not feel 
like I can do two more sets after that. So if I can only do two heavy sets on the 55s, I'll be happy. I was to give myself a break first to get it down. Right, second working step then, 55 kilo, let's see what we got. Now you always wanna do this exercise early in the, in the session. You need to get this exercise with some heavy weights, so let's go. Hey. Hey. Eight's gonna do, people. Eight's gonna do. Oh, yeah. Come on. Hey. Uh. Hey. 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 The thing is, I'm so much weaker on pulling exercise on my left side. Uh, you know what we just said about taking advantage of people? So what I've just done now is I'm 35 on the 10. Sorry, 10 reps on 35, which is super simple, I think. I think it was 10. I then went 45 and did eight, felt fine. 55 done eight, felt fine. So rather than just doing one more extra set on the 55s and then do another one and leave it at that, I'm gonna go up to 65 kilo. So again, another 10 kilo jump, which is a big jump, by the way. And then what I'll do is I'll leave the 55 there I'll do six reps on the 65 kilo, and then I'll do another set afterwards on the back of the 55s for extra reps. But depending on how I feel, I might want to stay out there, I might want to go up, so let's just see. So let's just do one more on 65 now. It's fucking hell, it's a bit of a, bit of a big weight though. The size difference is ridiculous. This one's got dust written on it. Someone's written dust on it, which means it's not been moved in a while. Ah, come on. 65, I haven't done this for a long, long time. But it's bulking season, and it's time to fucking grow some fucking lads. Let's go. Come on. Again, same thing. I set myself up to do six. I've gone and done eight. Why not? Feels good. Ah. You guys are watching, so let's put on a fucking show. Hey. Hey. Ah. Fucking hell. You big bastard. Right, that feels good, but I'm gonna go back down. I am. Now the reason why, every time I put a weight back, I'll put on the strap. The reason why I'm gonna go down is because I've not done that weight for a little while. Now I've done this entire workout, or once I've done this entire workout, like I mentioned at the start, I'll remember this workout. I might get home and write it all down as well. Next time we do this video, I'll be beating that 65, if you watch. We're moving on lads, we're doing, we're going to do some bicep curls, 
Um, but I'm just gonna do standing for now with this easy bar because I want to obviously get some footage and where the machines are, it's very, very tight. So we're gonna do some bicep curls here. Right, just a quick one before you all jump on me in the comments. You see the way I was moving there? So, when I'm down here, I'm pretty much straight arms, so that's basically full extension. And obviously, when I sink forward a little bit, my I'm only bending from the hips, so my hips bend backwards, torso coming forward. And then when I go up, my hips just go back again. So I'm only bending, torso bending, if you like. My arms stay very still, which is what you need to think about in a bicep movement. You don't want your humerus part of the arm, where the bone runs down, to leave your body. You don't want it to come far forward or far back. So I'd rather it like, act like you've got a pin right through your arm, right through to your body, so they can't move. So if you move the torso like this, and you're getting the weight up, for me, that is absolutely fine. I would, I'd rather call that something like controlled swinging. Controlled swinging basically meaning that you can progress in the weight, which basically means overall you're gonna progress. So I always agree with sort of losing the form slightly in order to build up the weight. Okay, moving on to a normal movement, I guess. We're doing the lap pull down, but we've got this. If you guys never heard of mag grip, it's called maximum advantage grip. If you didn't know, having your hand in more of a neutral position as opposed to sort of pronated or supinated, it actually offers more contraction to the lats. But with this one right here, obviously you can't use the straps because you have your hands hooked over the edge, but you have a better grip strength, I feel, when you're in neutral position as well as pronated or supinated. Um, but you can still do some pretty heavy weights on it, and I notice that I like a lot more range of motion doing that. I just have a bit of a bite of my squares bar, because at this point in the workout, we're now 53 minutes in, and I start to flag. Right. I've already done my warm-up set, so I'm gonna chuck that on, that was on 60, so I'm gonna chuck it on 72, we're gonna go heavy. I'm gonna try and do three sets, eight. Ah. 
Well, I ended up doing more because it felt good. So we'll do three sets of 12 on that weight. Second set. And that felt pretty good. So we're going to leave it on that. And we'll do another 12. Well, we'll aim for 12. <sighs> A little bit ugly, but we move. again on the 72 so four sets of 12 on 72 and then just did a double drop set on 50 kilos so my warm-up set was 59 I think it was so I've dropped it down from the warm-up set to do two sets 15 drop sets at the end of my last working set absolutely baked so we're gonna move on to biceps now we'll do two more bicep movements super set and then we're done Okay, so despite the fact that the machines are so crammed I can't really get my tripod in anywhere, I actually don't really like the bicep machines here. So we're gonna do incline curls, which is like, basically in this position here when you're inclined, I have my feet up as well, you're, you're sort of it's really, really limiting the amount of movement you can do in the shoulder because obviously that's as far as you can go back. But realistically, you want to try and keep that there and just squeeze up to here. Again, that humerus part of the arm needs to be facing vertical at all times. However, when this does start to get tough on this one, I find I have to swing forward so my arms go back to then get that extra bit of movement. So we're going to do that, and we're going to stand up, and we're going to go straight in to hammer curls. It's going to be a good one. I would recommend go quite light on this. I'm probably going to go for 12 and a half, maybe 10. I'm going to go for 10, and then I'll go heavier on the hammers. So I want to keep this like this, I'm not twisting now. It's just straight up and down. It does get tough. <laughs> to be honest, this feels too light. Maybe I've just got stronger. See, last set, lads. Your, your biceps are just absolutely fucking late. Oh, mm. shit. And then straight into the hammers. Mm. Mm. Oh, come on. Uh, 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 
And that, my friends, offers a ridiculous burn. Ah. Session in the bag, people. That was pretty damn good for a Wednesday. Normally back and biceps is on a Tuesday, but I done legs on Monday this week. Then I did chest and triceps, now we're doing back and biceps. It's legs again tomorrow, and then Friday, it'll be shoulders. I'll catch up with you guys when I get home. Artie? <laughs> Hello, little man. He's tired. Oh, Ellie made herself food. Right, Didn't you, Ellie? Why don't you tell the people what happened? I said, do you want some chicken? And you went, yeah, put it in the air fryer. You were like, yeah, I'll have it with rice, put it in the air fryer. Didn't, didn't realise she was making pesto pasta. If she'd have mentioned those two words, she knew, or she would have known, that I would have wanted the pesto pasta. So we're now having to put pasta on for ourselves. So I appreciate that, Ellie. Everyone's like, oh, but it's, better. it's great living with Ellie. She must cook for you all the time. She doesn't. Anyway, the pool, people, has been sorted. So levels were dropped too much. Air was in the filter, making the noise, and we have fixed it. Uh, obviously the rain isn't really filling it up that much but the hose pipe that's in there is I'll leave it on for another five minutes I might actually jump in it Al because people are like oh you've got a pool in the UK you're never going to use it so for that reason I need to try and use it as often as I possibly can no I did I did last Friday I have to basically every Friday I have to backwash the filter and put some in it. But we are going to close it down for the winter soon, but my mate's coming out the weekend and we're probably going to want to jump in it, so that's what we're doing. Anyway, we're going to have chicken, pasta, pesto, with some cheese on top as my post-workout meal. I am going to have a quick protein shake actually before because obviously pesto is high in fats. You want to limit the amount of fats you have in your first meal post-training because fat slows down the absorption of proteins. And why would we want that when we want to recover as quickly and as good as we possibly can? So one scoop of ghost protein powder first, and then we are going to smash in the pasta. I don't know what flavour to go for today. There's some flamboyant flavours out, by the way, guys. Um, if you're over in America, we've got some pumpkin spice. We've got apple cider donut. But your boy's going to go with the standard and, and my favorite which is just the cereal milk ghost one scoop post-workout there wasn't hardly any pesto left so i had to just improvise i chucked a bit of cream cheese in there and then obviously cheese on top as well but anyway, legends, that is going to wrap up today's video. Um, obviously a little bit different to what I normally post or what I normally do. So I hope that's, um, I hope it's something that you guys are interested in seeing because that type of content is the type of content that I really enjoy creating for you guys. And I know it's very informative as well along the way because when you're training, there's often so many different thoughts that go through my head, not just sort of, you know, cracking on with a workout or what I can do to sort of better my session but I always think about what I can do to bring you guys value and actually help you guys along the way. So I think it's a great idea having the, the mics on because at all times you can hear what I'm saying and whatever thought I'm in, having in that moment, I can obviously just um, really lay it back to you guys basically. So really enjoyed uh, making today's content. I'm now about to get all the footage off here and sort of start editing it because I can't wait to see what it looked like because the big lens make things look unbelievable. But as always, guys, thank you so much for the support. I appreciate you lot using my code for Ghost and Alphalete. And of course, like this video and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one. Peace. A year from today, you're going to look back at the previous 365 days and you're either going to say, thank God I spent my time doing that. Or you're going to say, damn, I wish I spent my time doing that.